What is up everybody? This is your pal Sal with PED Associates here to talk about a little bit of tank safety with my oxyacetylene kit from Uniweld. So I want to show you how to leak check your tanks before you get started brazing or soldering or doing any type of firework and or flammable work inside someone's home. You always want to leak check both your regulator and your tanks as well as your handle and your hose before you get started. So for today I'm going to show you about the regulator in the tanks and show you how to leak check that. This is our acetylene regulator screwed in to our acetylene tank. And this shows how much fuel we have in there. This is our acetylene pressure that we're using for that tank to the hose. Our oxygen tank and how full this oxygen tank is based on pressure and then how much pressure to the hose. If we're going to leak check this regulator in the tank before we check the hose or the handle and make sure there's a leak there. We're first gonna check the regulator and the tank connection to make sure there's no leak. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna make sure our knobs are completely back seated so there's no engagement to the hose or the handle. And we're also going to close, make sure this is closed, right? All the way closed. And then we are going to open up our tank You'll see this pressure go up, showing that we have a full tank. And then we're going to close it. And it shouldn't start to bleed, but if it starts to bleed down after we close it, that means we have a link, uh, I'm sorry, a leak at this connection here, most likely. So let's get started. Make sure this is closed, right? This is completely back seated in the off position, so there's no pressure to the hose. Handle knob for oxygen, completely in off position. Now, let's open up this pressure. So, we opened it up. Now we're gonna close it. And it should stay, and if it doesn't stay and it starts to bleed back, we have a leak. So, here with the oxygen, there is definitely a leak here, and I would not feel comfortable using this tank and regulator at this time until I figure out if I need to tighten up that nut that goes to the tank, but there's clearly a leak here and could cause an issue when I'm out in the field using this oxyacetylene kit and could start a fire. Once again, this is your pal Sal, safety first, awesome goggles. Um, make sure you wear eye protection whenever you're doing work in the field, but you know, that right there alone could save a lot of headache when out in the field and any type of errors that you might have in the person's home using any type of flammable equipment. Um, but you could clearly see there's a leak there, so I'm going to go get my regulator tied, uh, tidied up with the connection to the tank on the oxygen side. You would do the same thing for the settling side, and this could save you a lot of headache in the field. 